M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe if you find this helpful. In front of us, we've got the Yaesu FT5 and the Yaesu FTM300. Highly recommend these dual band C4 FM radios with APRS and lots more. So let's have a look at what we're doing. So we've got our hotspot in the background here, made by DV Mega, and it's showing the digital channels coming in via the Pi Star system. And at the moment we're linked to America Link. So if we just go to the A band on, let's just do the FT5 for now. And key, M0FXB test. You'll see that that's working fine on both radios and we even received it on the A band of the FTM 300. So A band switching is just here. You've got the AB button on the five here and the 300 here, nice and simple. A and B, okay, A and B. So just to show you, you can simultaneously receive APRS and TX whilst you're also receiving digital on your, on your hotspot. So let's go to the B band. Now, to set up a APRS channel, you use in the UK 145 <clears throat> 800, and you have to turn the modem on. Now, I'll show you the settings on the FT5. We've, we have created a memory channel. You don't have to, but I have. Um, so look, if we go to VFO, we, there's my settings there. And all you do is set 144.800, turn off the tone and the... Uh, and the, and the shift, you don't need any tone, <clears throat> tones and shifts. I'll put a link in the description to show you how you can turn that off. Now, you do need to turn on the modem, and I have saved this to this memory channel. So on the B section, hold down F, and go to APRS. And I'll show you on both radios, look. APRS modem, number four, tap. And then it's on. Now you just turn the top knob here, off, on. And it's just by default, it's 1200 BPS. Like I said, we're in the UK. So that turns the modem on. You do need to have got your APRS core sign in. So we'll show that again. APRS here. And you do need a GPS lock as well, unless you've set it to manual. So let's just find our call sign, which I think is quite far down. Let's find it, GPS setup, GPS power. So obviously go in there and it says off at the moment because we're using manual. Let's keep going and there's a setup there. There it is there, 23 call sign APRS. Use the F if you can't tap it, use the F. And look, there's my call sign, M0FXB-10. So that'll show on APRS FI. Let's go back. So to TX, you just tap the F button. And then you've got Beacon TX. So up here, now we've got back written here. Beacon TX, if you've got forward, then hit forward again, and then go Beacon TX. And you'll see there that it's it's come up here, M0 FXB 10. That's there you go. And we're still, as you can see, in the A band, receiving our, our hotspot on both radios. Now on this on the 300, similar, really very similar. APRS. Use the knob here to select it. It's not touch screen. APRS modem on off on off. And again, let's find the call sign. We'll go down. Did we go straight past it? There you go, number 21 on this radio. Select M0 FXB6. Let's go back. Now to TX, just tap the F button. Go down to APRS function so it's red. Tap the button here and look, you've got beacon on. And then you've got, if you turn the control of the channel change, oh, there's something being received there. Let's just go back. 
go to Beacon TX so it's red, then push it, and it's just TX here. Now you can look at a list, what it is, when you first receive it, it will populate the whole screen, but after receiving it for the first time, it won't. So you need to just go to list. So you just tap F and then look for S list and Beacon TX here. So we're gonna go S list. And then these are the stations that have been coming in via APRS. And we'll, if we can't tap it, we'll hit the F button and then we'll get the full screen. And let's do that on the other one as well. So we'll go push the button here. No, that's the wrong one. So we we'll just go to B band again. Right. Sorry, it was the F button. Hold the F button. APRS function, and then look for list. You've got message list, station list. Click station list, and then push the button again. It'll be. Let's go to someone else. MB seven UNE. And there you are. That's a full screen. There's not much information on that one, is there? So let's go back. Let's go to me. There you are, you've got more information there. And you can scroll the knob to see more information. Let's go back. Let's have a quick look at the message lists. We'll go to highlight message in red. Message here. Keep up the good work. 73 Tiago. And that was yeah, quite a while. And I've met Tiago, he's uh, from Bristol. So you can see your messages there. Keep going back, back to the main screen. Let's have a look at our messages on the FT5. So we'll go back. And back again. Hit the F. And then we'll go to messages. Tap it here. Touch screen on that. Select with the F button. And there's some messages there. Look. Okay, so hopefully you find this interesting. I should use APRS more, really. Go back to uh, memory. There you are. So you can basically receive and transmit APRS at the same time as receiving and transmitting uh, on C4FM. I don't know if you can do it actually simultaneously whilst you're receiving a message. I haven't really tried that. But it's great fun. These are excellent radios. The APRS on uh, these digital radios is you know basically the ftm 300 and the ft5 it's just excellent so enjoy your radios it's fun here having fun got another hot spot in the background here which i just pieced together from a raspberry pi as you can see nothing special just a pi zero in a box with a nextian screen that's at the moment doing my d star work uh, so seven three all the best please like and subscribe my channel catch you on air